Have you ever wanted to be a superhero? Some people start when they are very young. What superheroes do you know of? Do you know this one? Or this one? Maybe this one? Or possibly this one? What do these superheroes do? They save people. They stop bad things from happening. They deal with things that are wrong. Now in the passage of the Bible, which we're looking at today, Jesus said, you will have trouble. Things will go wrong. Things that will need to be dealt with. We'll have fears. There'll be tears when we get hurt. There'll be failures, pain, bullying, tiredness, weakness. How do we deal with it? Well, Jesus said you need somebody to help you. And this is true whether it's at home or school or elsewhere, wherever you are. Where does that help come from? We can't get the Avengers or any of these heroes to help us because they're not real. But there is a superhero who is real, who says he is the real overcomer. It's Jesus, because as Jesus said, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. You know what he did? He did what we couldn't do. He took all the evil powers, all the nasty things on himself, and he defeated them. And the worst problem of all that he dealt with was our sin, our selfishness. And how did he do that? Where was the greatest battle? It wasn't in New York, on Asgard, Mars, Krypton, or any other such location. It was on a hill called Calvary, because there he took our place. He died for us on a cross. Now there's no point in having a dead superhero but this superhero, Jesus, is alive. He's right here with us in this service. In our homes, he is there beside us. He'll be there next week if you start back at school or wherever you are. The true overcomer is there, so be encouraged. Whenever you feel afraid or lose heart, Jesus has overcome. He has won for us. Remember, the greatest superhero of all is by our side, and he loves all those who believe and trust in him. And do you know what that means? It means we are overcomers too. Jesus has given us the victory. When people win at football, they sing about being champions or championes. We can sing about being champions too. So let's live for Jesus and sing about that.